Okay, to start this, you're going to want to use your Google Arts and Culture app. Oh, I'm already in it, so let me tap all the way out. Do, do, do. Okay, um, so this is the home screen for Google Arts and Culture right now. And if I scroll down a little bit, I'm going to get to something called Art Projector. And it has... It's right here. Okay, get started. Okay, so you need to scan the floor. It shows you to kind of move it in a circular pattern and it'll work when you start seeing that you have all these little white polka dots everywhere. And they have pre-selected some of the more popular paintings at the bottom. Just kind of gently use your finger to scroll so you don't accidentally swipe out of the app. Um, let's do this. And now I have Van Gogh in my front yard. And what's amazing is that this is the Google Arts and Culture app, so it has the high definition. So if I move my phone closer, I can see more detail. If I don't want to have to walk towards it, if I take my finger and kind of drag, it lets me pull it closer to me so that I can kind of zoom in. In the bottom right corner, there is a square with um, a T-shape of dots on the inside and four dots on the outside. If I click that, it'll put it to its 100%. So this is how large the painting is in reality. And then I can pinch pull, I can pinch to make it smaller or back to 100. And again, if I kind of long hold the screen and drag, I can move the painting closer to me so that I can get even more detail. All right, so before I completely lose you, also know that you can do almost any, okay? So I'm gonna click on the bottom right corner. Um, it's the person profile. It's a circle with like a person in the middle. This takes me to my profile. I am going to click on my items and it doesn't work so much for artifacts, but if I go to the paintings, okay, there is what looks like a 3D cube in between um, four corners. If I click on that, it's the same process of kind of zooming and then I have that option. Oops, did I make it too close? So that I can zoom in and see the complexity of his paint. And then click to kind of zoom it back to its 100 state. All right, have fun.